So if A is diagonalizable and for all eigenvalues lambda of A as the absolute value of lambda equals 1, then A is unitary. We need to, to indicate if this statement is true or false. So let A be uh, let A be 2 by 2 matrix 1, 1, 0, negative 1. The agent values of A is 1 and negative 1. So lambda 1 is 1, 2 is negative 1. We know that if A has this distinct agent value, then A is diagonalizable. So that means that A is diagonalizable and A and, and 1 and negative 1 are agent values of A. Um, now let's check if A is unitary. So, uh, so if A is unitary, then A times A transposed equals identity matrix. So let's check that. A times A transposed equals 1, 1, O, negative 1 times A transposed. So here we have 1, 1, 0, negative 1. Um, 0, negative 1, and this equals, uh, so we, we find the dot product of the first row and first column, so it's 1 plus 1, then we have the dot pro find the dot product of the first row and second column, so it's 0, minus 1, so negative 1, uh, and next we find the dot product of the second row and first column, so it's 0, minus 1, and uh, 0, plus 1. So 0 plus 1. So we get that this equals 2 negative 1, negative 1, 1. As we can see, the product of A and A transpose does not equal identity matrix. So it does not equal 1, 0, 0, 1 identity matrix. That means that A is not unitary. So that, that proves that our statement is false, it's not necessarily true, because uh, um, we had matrix A, which is diagonalizable, and whose agent values um, equal 1 and negative 1, and uh, at matrix A is not unitary. So the statement is false. And we have provided a counterexample.